So you're probably wondering what spanning tree protocol is. So what does it do? What is it for? And why do we need it? So for example, let's say a broadcast frame comes in to switch three. And switch three, the rule is, it forwards out broadcast frames on all other ports except for the port it came in on. So it'll forward it out happily out this port and this port. And switch two will send it out this port. And tempo will send this frame out this port. And you notice that if you keep following this rule, you will have a loop and it'll go round and round and round and round forever. So that's really bad. And what will happen is the switches will crash and all the good network bits will come to an end. So in order to fix this problem, we use a spanning tree protocol. So the first step in the spanning tree protocol is to find the root bridge. We need to elect the root bridge. And the reason why is because we want to find one path to that root bridge and then later on we'll learn um, how the switches will cut off extra links it doesn't need so uh, in order to prevent those layer two loops so there's only one path to that root bridge that one device we don't want that loop so in order to find the root bridge you first look at the priority number and the priority by default on Cisco switches is 32768 plus the VLAN number because you can have multiple spanning trees per VLAN which is really cool PVST plus so uh, right now by default out of the box all these switches are 32768 so the lower the number um, the better so whoever has the lowest priority number wins and becomes the root bridge but right now they're all tied. So that won't work. So the next tiebreaker is the MAC address. Who has the lowest MAC address? So let's go ahead and look at them. So 0, 0, 0, they all tie. They're all the same. 0, 0, 0. Here we have another 0. We go from left to right. Here we have a 6. And here we have a 9. So right away we can tell that this is the lowest MAC address out of all of them in this switching network. So this switch, the temple switch, becomes the root bridge. And once it becomes the root bridge, we can follow the rest of the protocol. So for example, the switches may decide, bam, you're going down, buddy. So when we have those broadcast frames and they loop around, bam, they'll be cut off because there's only one path to the root bridge.